One problem a lot of people have with their campers is rodents. The damage that they do can be astronomical sometimes. I've seen thousands of dollars worth of damage done by mice chewing on water lines or chewing on electrical cords. Uh, chewing on electrical cord could even start a fire. Uh, you have a lot of problems with that. Uh, mouse will get into a camper by coming in through the cord door. Wherever their head will fit, they can get their bodies through there. So to keep a problem with rodents from coming in, there's a couple things you can do. Number one, you can get bounce dryer sheets. Now, when I say bounce, I've been told that the only ones that work is a straight bounce dryer sheet. No springtime on all this, but just straight bounce. Uh, put them under your compartment. You can throw in a cabinet or something. You can throw a bounce dryer sheet in here, put it back out of the way. It won't bother anything that you're doing. Uh, put them in both your compartments. Put them under your sink. Uh, from the outside compartments, put in a bounce dryer sheet. Another way to get rid of these things, these mice and everything is these ultrasonic plug one in. Especially if you're plugged in at home, you can plug in an ultrasonic mouse repeller and it keeps animals out of here. Um, one way you can also do it is mothballs. You really don't want that smell in your camper. Uh, a lot of people storing them in sheds will put mothballs around their tires and on their tires and things like this, but they won't put them inside because you get that smell. So anything that you can do where your cord comes in, stuff that hole that, that where that flap is with steel wool or a bounce dryer sheet. I kind of prefer steel wool because they chew on things. Um, and there shouldn't be any other ways for mice to get in because they will do an extreme amount of damage in a short amount of time. So anything you can do like that uh, would be helpful.